something. I have to finish packing. I need to get this done. She gifted this to me for my 21st birthday. It was custom carved by a local monk who apparently knows his way around some marble. <laughs> Best gift ever. We found this little souvenir in a small shop in Kilo, Japan. This was right before she started having pains. We had to get a flight back within hours of learning what it really was. Why are socks so easy to lose? I swear this drawer was full of them and now there's only one. It's like wires always finding some way to tangle themselves. We cut down an entire tree to make this box. <laughs> Sorry, Mother Nature. One of the advantages of having a ground floor hospital room is being able to sneak things through the window. She wanted to paint, so I made sure she did. Hey Tom, glad to see you're back. Sorry for not warning you for a couple weeks. I had to take care of Ash. I don't think I need the internet right now. Oh, I forgot about these. Oh, I forgot about these. I can't tell you how many times she borrowed my hoodies. But this one, this was the last one she wore before everything. I'm definitely taking this with me. I can't tell you how many times she borrowed my hoodies. But this one, this was the last one she wore before everything. I'm definitely taking this with me. We hiked for hours to reach the peak of the famous Mount Scanny in Vermont. There was this big tower at the top for a better view. Even though I was severely scared of heights, Ashley got me up there. It was definitely worth it. I miss traveling with you. Ashley would plan a trip almost monthly to literally anywhere. She would always make sure to book us into a hotel that served breakfast. She loved that. I miss traveling with you. Ashley would plan a trip almost monthly to literally anywhere. She would always make sure to book us into a hotel that served breakfast. She loved that. I have to finish packing. I need to get this done. We cut down an entire tree to make this box. <laughs> Sorry, Mother Nature. This was hours before everything. I remember we were counting how many people had red shirts as they passed by the hospital window. Surprisingly, there was a lot. But it was one of your hardest days of your life. And yet, your positivity shined bright. The day you successfully launched your shop downtown. Needless to say, I was proud of you. Especially after watching you spend all nighters talking to investors. She named her shop after the poem I wrote called Two Rabbits. Thank you, Ash. I 
Well, that's it. Next stop, Ash.